for depth perception. Trinocular vision. So we're still, <laughs> we're still talking about the shrimp. We've entered a garden. We don't. We're so on the shrimp that we don't know what garden this is. Um, well, let's see if there's a guide in here. But we do have an update on the shrimp and a picture. There's no guide in here. You have the picture of the shrimp? <laughs> picture of the picture? <laughs> right, uh, so it called... was not 27, right? It was 14 to 17 or something like that? This is called the Mary Mix McDonald Woods. Oh, it is Mary Mix. Okay, that's what the thing says. Mary Mix McDonald Woods. If we're talking mantis shrimp... Still talking mantis shrimp. Okay. The eyes of the mantis shrimp are mounted, <laughs> mounted on mobile stalks and can move independently of each other. They are thought to have the most complex eyes in the animal kingdom and have the most complex visual system ever discovered. Compared with the three types of photoreceptor cells that humans possesses in their eyes, the, si the eyes of a mantis shrimp have between 12 and 16 types of photoreceptor cells. And then it goes on to say, despite the impressive range of wavelengths that the mantis shrimp have the ability to see, they do not see, they do not have the ability to discriminate wavelengths less than 25 nanometers apart. And then it says each compound eye is made up of tens of thousands of amatidia cluster. Oh. <laughs> if anybody knows what that word is. <laughs> Amatid amatidia? clusters of photoreceptor cells, each eye consists of two flattened hemispheres separated by parallel rows of specialized amatidia. <laughs> awesome. Colle awesome. Collectively... And you want to be my latex salesman. <laughs> Holy cow. <laughs> Collectively called the mid-band. The number of that word, rows, in the mid-range range from two to six. This divides the eye into three regions. This configuration enables mantis shrimp to see objects with three parts of the same eye. In other words, each eye possesses trinocular vision and therefore depth perception. The upper and lower hemispheres are used primarily for recognition of form and motion, like the eyes of many other crustaceans. Mantis shrimp can perceive wavelengths of light ranging from deep ultraviolet to far red and polarized light. Oh, polarization. Well, that's a cool technique. What does that mean? Uh, it, it, it's a way to cut out. Well, we use it the way we have it on our glasses is to cut out the glare from sun. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Polarized sunglasses. Yeah. Dude, this thing's a beast. You have a picture? To show the camera? Yeah, to show the camera. Picture for the picture. <laughs> All right, who knew that we would be talking about this today? The rain kind of does it to us. We've been casual this whole hike. It's Man, been a very shrimp. casual hike. And uh, it is pretty neat to see everything kind of starting to bloom. We will come back in full season. And maybe that's why it's not so bad. It's a good use of a mask. <laughs> <laughs> it's a Hike 360 mask. Uh, feel free to get on over to our website for Hike 360 gear. You ready to show it? Oh. Let's repeat that. If you want a Hike 360 mask, visit or, our website. Or a jersey. We have Hike 360 merch, and you can support us by purchasing our Hike 360 merch by either visiting our website or sending us an email at hike360vr at gmail.com. All right, this is a picture of the mantis shrimp. That thing is a beast. <laughs> <laughs> okay, look at that. Who knew? The Mary Mix McDonald Woods. Really brings out the mantis shrimp in me.